everybody, welcome back to part 2 of my understated statement work bags. And if you haven't watched the part 1, I will link it up here and in the description box below. You can check it out first. In that video, I talked about my understated statement work bags, which are more of the structured versions and I had 10 picks. Now in this video, I will have 10 picks as well, but instead of structured bags, I'm going to go with more like, you know, those bags that can mold into your body, more flexible. So in this video, it's more of the unstructured work bags. Just in case this is the first video that you're watching from me and you haven't watched part one, let me just quickly tell you what an understated statement handbag means to me. And particularly for work because there are so many bags that we use for casual, for going out, or you know for dinner dates, but I'm only going to talk about work bags for today. So work bags. And when I say understated, there are kind of a few criteria. For example, there are not much logos on the bag, maybe a very small little logo there. And then in terms of color, it's more the understated color. So typical black, maybe the greys, maybe the darker neutral color. Those are the ones that I would say would be more understated. And then also, they don't, much, they don't have much hardware. Even though my bag is understated, I still want it to make a statement. It doesn't have to be a loud statement, but it kind of puts my outfit together. You know, it makes me look a little bit more polished. It makes me look a little bit more, yeah, that's a nice bag. So, I didn't spend all that money on a luxury bag for my bag to look ordinary. It's still gonna make a statement. In my search for that understated statement uh, work bag that is unstructured, to tell you the truth, not many luxe houses do really good ones. Like they are, either they're a little bit too much or you know, they, they just don't look that good as an understated bag. And a lot of luxe houses prefer to do structured bags. I guess we, maybe we, that's, that's the preference on lots of women. Like I prefer a structured bag, but I do appreciate the unstructured version because actually it does get that, you know, more casual look, but yet it can still look very put together. But anyway, let's talk about the 10 bags that I picked for this video. Let's start off with LV and due to their really large collection, you can pretty much find any kind of bag to suit any kind of need. And in my search, I actually have three bags to talk about from LV. So the first, I think a lot of people may not agree with me or may agree with me. I think the LV Speedy um, is pretty unstructured. Now, go for the dark color. So you can either go for like the epi leather and yes, to a certain extent, epi does keep its shape, but because it doesn't have much of like, you know, doesn't really have a lot of spine to the bag, it can flatten out. So if you don't use a bag organizer or if you don't really pack your bag enough, it can kind of look out of shape. So I feel like it's really unstructured. I don't know if you agree with me, but I personally feel that speedy bags are unstructured. Get a bag from LV, which I personally think is very understated because my boss actually has this bag and she loves it. It's the Baby Loan bag. I'm not really sure if that's the right name or how do you pronounce it, maybe Baby, baby Loney or Baby Loan or Baby Alone. <laughs> you can see the picture right here. And this is in that beautiful Mahina leather. It is such an understated bag. Yes, there are logos, but because it is black, now pick the black. They come in, I think, two other colors, like there's a baby pink or a beige color. Now that would make us, that, that's a bit loud because you can actually see all the LVs. But the black version, you can hardly see the LVs unless you come really up close. From afar, it just looks like a beautiful hobo bag and it is one of my boss's favorite bag. She loves the bags to death. You can wear it on the shoulder, she can put it a crook on the arm. It comes with a detachable shoulder strap which she doesn't use. Now the last bag from LV, to me, I find it to be one of the most beautiful leather bags from LV and it is the Locket bag. Now to be honest, I don't know if they're discontinuing this bag. I checked out the website, I only saw two colors. So the color that I would pick for work would be the Galet color which is like this taupey grey. It's super beautiful. It is such an understated bag. It, yeah, I love that bag. The only thing is, I did hear that it is quite heavy. Well, you know, if you're gonna pick a leather bag, it's gonna have a bit of weight, and it just, it just looks so polished. So this other brand, I used to really like their bags. I like it for their quirkiness, but. When I was checking out their website lately, I saw this really beautiful bag. It's from Enya Heimach, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's called Build a Bag. It's a hobo style bag and it is so gorgeous. It comes in a few sizes. It comes in like, I think the mini, it comes in a small and then large. The large looks really, really big. But the small, it just looks so, so squishy. So, I don't know, it's really, really pretty. And to me, it looks like an understated work bag. And because it has that unstructuredness, it can kind of look casual as well, yet look put together. Now, I think you can personalize the bag. I'm not really sure how, you know, Enya Hamad used to be more, I don't know, just buy the bags. But now, I don't know, when I'm looking at the website, they do personalization as well. So maybe if you want to like jazz it up a bit, you can do some personalization. I'm not really sure. 
but just the bag on its own is really really stunning the next bag is from Loive, I think that's how you say it, I'm not really sure but this bag is the midnight bag and it's a bucket style bag, it comes in black, it also comes in this like brown and beige kind of like stripe which is also very stunning but that color combination may look a little bit more casual I would pick a dark color like black because you know that's the most understated color right, you, you can't go wrong with black it's really gorgeous. I love bucket bags. Bucket bags, especially if they don't have a very uh, big base, you can kind of like squash it there. It just, it looks put together. Obviously, if the base is too big, it kind of like bulky, then it doesn't look so nice. But if it has got a, you know, this beautiful soft leather and a bucket bag and you can put it in your shoulder, it really, really looks put together. And it can really make a statement. So I really like this particular bucket bag from uh, Loewe. Loewe to me is a really, really under the radar brand like not many people have it so if you want something different really really check out this brand because yeah I, I don't see a lot of people have it in fact m the people that I've seen have this brand they usually go for the puzzle bag but they have other bags you know Louisville makes a lot a lot of nice bags now Celine I have to mention Celine because to me Celine besides their uh, luggage bag which is obviously very very popular I think Celine has a lot of understated bags like for example their box um, the one that's like a crossbody bag the, it looks a little bit like the Hermes Constance <laughs> that kind of bucket uh, the uh, square bag Celine Celine's other bags are also very very beautiful and they use amazing leather so this particular bucket bag that I saw on Celine I think it's called the big bag or big bucket bag it is stunning when I saw it I was like oh my goodness it is gorgeous it has that strap that gives it a little bit of that statement but the bag the way it's molded is super pretty so if you like unstructured bags and you like smooth calf leather yeah the only thing about calf leather is that it can get scratched but you know, you're gonna enjoy the bag, right? But that bag is super pretty and yeah, I didn't know they make that bag. So when I checked it out online, I was like, yes, I am going to the store to check out that bag. Next bag is from Longchamp and it's the Le Pliage uh, leather collection. I think it's Cure. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. But I have seen it in store and have touched it. It is really, really supple. And if you like unstructured, Longchamp's design is absolutely unstructured. Like you can, you can mold it in any shape you want as long as it comes out of the same uh, trap, like a trapezium shape. That bag, the leather version, is really pretty. My mother-in-law has that bag, and she absolutely enjoys it. It is so understated, like it's a really basic bag but it fits so much because it's unstructured, you can mold it, you can put lots of things and you can stuff it and that leather, it just gives that touch of class. The last three bags are hobo style bags and the first one is from Mulberry. This bag it's called Marlowe's and oh my goodness, you guys have to check it out. Have to go to the website to take a look at it. It is so stunning. So understated but it packs a punch in the statement department. It knocks it out of the court. The bag that I saw, it came with the um, like kind of like a fake crocodile kind of design. I don't know what it's called. Embossed. Yeah, embossed crocodile. So pretty. Of course, if you don't like the kind of uh, pattern, you can go for the plain. It is beautiful. It comes in a variety of colors. Black is obviously the most understated color, but you can add on the embossing, you know, so to give it a little bit of touch. It comes with green. I've seen it in blue. The red. It is gorgeous. I really, really, really like that bag. We can't have a list of understated, unstructured work bags without talking about Bottega Veneta. Now, Bottega takes the last two spots in my list and I used to have one of these bags. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name, but it's basically the hobo style uh, Bottega bag with the Napa leather. Oh my goodness. I used to have the green version uh, in the Hunter Green. I sold that in those younger days. I'm so stupid because I was so afraid of damaging the bag. If I knew what I knew now, I would have kept the bag. It is so, so beautiful and so, I don't know, it just really packs a statement. When you carry that bag, people look, people stare, people are like, nice. And it doesn't shout anything. It doesn't shout logos. There's nothing, nothing on that bag, out of sight, besides the weave, which is obviously the statement part of the bag. Nothing on that bag has anything that says Bottega so beautiful. It's just the craftsmanship on that bag is <sighs> everything. The last bag is from Bottega and to me I think the statement comes in two things. It comes in the Napa leather but it also comes in the hoop. So this is the loop bag and this bag you've got to pick it in the steel color. Now if you pick black to me black may be 
a little bit louder because black against the steel uh, hoops on the back it does stand out a little bit more but the steel color and the hoops the, the hardware on it it just tones it down a little bit makes it a little bit understated but yet it is such a statement bag so gorgeous when I saw that online I was like yes that is gorgeous I need to see that in store because that is an absolutely understated statement piece those hoops it has the detailing of the weaves it is so so gorgeous so those are my top 10 picks for understated statement work bags in the unstructured version now if you it's not your cup of tea and you prefer more structure make sure you check out part one I will you know the link is in the description box below so you can check it out so just like part one comment down below your top pick for an understated statement work bag but has that kind of unstructured shape and you know what like I said earlier it's really really hard to find on luxury on the luxury sites there are not many that make really good looking understated statement pieces I'm really curious so I can't wait to read your comments I think in my next video I'm gonna share about tote bags and kind of give you my top 10 picks as well I don't know if you guys are interested maybe maybe because I have a couple of tote bags as well so most likely those will go in if you know which they are you probably guess already uh, yeah I guess that's it. that's the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you for watching and till my next one you guys take care bye